So you want to tame a basilisk, huh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you have come to the right place. Look no further. We're going to show you how to easily tame a basilisk without any issues. And uh, we'll show you exactly where they spawn, too. So we're actually going to get right into it. We are in probably the easiest place to tame a basilisk ever. Like, literally the easiest place to tame one. So um, this is actually in the starting area. I'll go to the edge here. You can see this literally from everywhere in this particular zone. Well, maybe not everywhere, but it's, it's right at the top here. So we are at... What is that? Uh, let's say 1540 all the way up. You guys can get up here from basically this um, ground ramp that just comes all the way around and then all the way up to here. And as you can see, there's like two basilisk here. There's usually one, if not two, basilisk. Unless somebody is building up here, it might actually get rid of the spawns. Um, this is actually where I've been building on my Patreon server. So there's a small chance that if there's a big base here, the basilisk may not spawn. But otherwise, definitely it's the safest place, easiest place to tame one. And uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. So there's a couple things we need to do. And um, so you're going to need some fertilized eggs. They do tame just like, well, not just like the Titanoboas. Uh, but they do require fertilized eggs. Now, you're going to get pretty much an instant tame when you use a fertilized rock drake egg. But uh, you can use other eggs. Their kibble is actually golden Hesperornis eggs. Uh, but I don't think there are Hesperornis anywhere. I've been looking around. I definitely, definitely don't think there are here. But you can use other fertilized eggs. You can use Bronto eggs and stuff like that. They'll do just as good. Or Giga eggs if you've got them. Obviously, if you've transferred stuff over from a vanilla server... Then you're going to have all the things you need to tame up one of these super easy. But uh, one rock drake egg will probably get the job done. Now, before we get started, I do want to say thank you to all of my patrons. You guys are truly amazing. And I want to do my Patreon shout out before we go too much farther into the video. Okay, so just like earlier, or actually in another video, I, I did a bunch of uh, Patreon shoutouts. We've got a bunch in the tier that are for this shoutout. i got to start building the Patreon monument here soon. But I want to shout out uh, Jessica Voss, Thomas Glenn, Lucas Hancock, Stampeding Turtle, Kate Tur Turtle, Stampeding Turtle, <laughs> I can't believe I butchered that. Kane Wittenhoff and Roxy B. Thank you guys so much for being uh, becoming patrons. You guys really make this possible for me. And you just, you guys are amazing. Best community ever. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, you guys are truly amazing. All right, so I had a little bit of an issue with the recording. So I got to do this again. The OBS crashed on me, so lost some of it. Uh, so we ended up kiting it over here. But what we need to do is actually aggro this thing and get it to eat an egg when we drop it. So uh, we're going to tank it and stuff. And it's just a matter of, uh, of not dying. So we want to dodge that. There we go. Because uh, that is bad. But we can pretty much take it. So we, would, we just got to stand in front of it so it eats the egg eventually instead of us. Eat the egg. Eat the egg. You know you want to. So I had a little bit of an issue with OBS there for a second, but what you want to do is you want to actually aggro the basilisk and then you want to drop a fertilized egg and then get the basilisk to bite the egg instead of you or, you know, bite the egg while trying to get you. Thus, actually, uh, you know, taming up. So we're going to stand in front of this egg and see it's super glitchy. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. We forgot to dodge the, the poison. I'm, I'm a little mad because it just doesn't work very well. It's pretty much the worst thing ever. So I'm starting to try and think of another way to do this rather than just kiting this thing around. I'm thinking of building a trap and then leading it into the trap and then hopefully having it eat the eggs that way while we stand on the other side of the wall or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot because this is like the glitchiest tame I've ever seen in my entire life. Like I've sat in front of this egg on infinite stats and what? 
What are you what are you doing? Okay. Like I said, glitchy. Super glitchy. You gonna eat the egg? It ate the egg! Holy shit, okay, that was weird. So maybe that's a new thing. Maybe we just gotta kite it around until it's like, oh shit, there's an egg. Let's try that out. Instead of standing in front of the egg, maybe it's just like, oh shit, hey egg, and then eats it eventually. So we're just, we're gonna kite it around until it's like, oh, you know what? This egg is a lot better than that booty. And I'm also gonna try and do it with a, um, a taming pen as well. I think if you lead it into a pen that's got like uh, big dinosaur gates in front of it and then just close the gate, it should be fine. We need to not run through the freaking gas. Um, so note to self, when you're doing this, don't run, don't get hit by the gas, you know? It's really not that difficult to not get hit by the gas. I just really enjoy it. I don't know. Woo! Almost got it again. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna kite it around. This is just a real shit way to tame anything. I don't know why the devs were like, you know, let's let's do it this way. This seems like a good idea. No, it in fact was not a good idea. It was not at all. Oh wait, well, interesting. So it just did like a weird little. Uh, little glitch thing. I thought it was going to eat the egg for a second, but it didn't. All right, yeah. We're going to try and do this with a taming pen because this is a little ridiculous. And if you're not really careful, it's going to end badly. So I'm going to try one more time to get it to eat the egg. We're going to stand in front of the egg. And uh, we're going to hope that it eats the egg before we die. Woo! That freaking gas, man. The gas is the issue. It really wouldn't be that bad to tank it if it wasn't for the... Oh, for the gas! Yeah, so... See? I mean, everyone says this is super easy, but it's not when you're not using freaking God Mode or Infinite Stats. It's, uh... I mean, it should be easy, because all you have to do is supposedly just sit here and wait for it to eat the egg. But that doesn't happen. It doesn't ever eat the egg. I think it's going for the egg! It's doing that it's weird same thing where it stopped. Never mind. Never mind. I'm trying to get it to leave me alone. And um, it's just not happening. You want to eat the... Uh, and the taming effectiveness is down already. So yeah, this is not a good way. We're going to make a pen. Okay, so we've got our trap, ta our trap tamed up. We've got our trap made. And we've got a basilisk. All right, basilisk is aggroed. And we're going to try and kite it straight into our trap. I don't know. I'm doing a little bit of a test to see if I can get it inside of a regular standard dino gate. I'm not convinced I can, but that's what uh, testing's for, you know? Just go nice and slow. Oh, oh, oh. All right, dino gate did not work. I didn't think it was, uh, would, but um, now you guys know. Dino gate doesn't work. Got to use a behemoth gate. Try number 342. Ow. It got me. It got me good. Where are you going? Did I say you could go attack a freaking iguanodon after shooting some poisonous gas up my butt? I don't think I did. I'm like 90. Oh, God. Not again. Son of a beached whale. All right. Anyways, we got a big old behemoth gate and we got a gate on the other side. So it should theoretically follow us in. There we go. And then get glitched where we can do that. And then we can do this. And then we've got ourselves one handy dandy trapped basilisk. <laughs> yep, it's trapped all right. Nice. I'm a freaking genius. Now you guys are probably wondering... How the hell are you going to feed it? That's a good question. I had that all planned out, and then I blew up my plan. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this. It's got its big old face right there, but I think because it's all glitched out, I should... Just doing a little bit of a test. Don't mind me. Can it get out? I'm not sure. Oh, man, it is so glitched. So let's see if we can drop it outside and have it... It does work! <laughs> yes, but because it's... Whoa! Hey, passive. No, bad woofykins. Anyways, so that did work. 
you guys just got to be careful of the spit still. But um, we're just going to leave eggs around. And eventually, it'll pick up the egg. Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, okay, too close. Could you not eat my wolf, please? There we go. So I should be able to eat that eventually. You just got to watch out for the gas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get on my wolf. Actually, because, well, I think we'll be good. We're just going to leave it there. And eventually, it should pick up the egg. We saw it do it once. There's no particular reason it shouldn't do it again. Now, uh, what I would preferably do, instead of using the big gates, I would use door frames. And, um, and then just drop them through the door frames. I had the door frames in the original build, but then I put the behemoth gate on and screwed everything up. So, um, can I just get onto the Ravager without you eating my butt? Thank you. Alright, so maybe if we just move back a little bit. I think it's... It's trying to attack the the walls instead, but it ain't cool enough to kill them. Hmm. I want to open another gate. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I see it. I see you're mad. You're very upset. Can you just, can you eat the egg that's like right in front of your stupid little snake face? This is so much easier. Ah! <laughs> so uh, you'd be happy to know that it still has not eaten the other egg. Still has yet to eat the other egg. And um, I'm not particularly happy about it. You rat bastard. So I'm going to... Oh. I kind of want to just uh, leave eggs all around it. Please, please don't try and eat me. I'm just trying to be friends. Is that so much to ask? I would highly recommend... Down goes Frasia. As I was saying, <laughs> I would highly recommend doing this on the wolf. Because if you get bitten, you're n the wolf will get bitten and not you. So, um, obviously I would be doing this more carefully if I were actually trying to do this. But as I'm just testing it... What do you percentage you got? 42 or 24. So we're going to stand in front of it with the wolf. Because we have a lot more protection. We only get hit by the gas when we're on the wolf. So uh, we're just going to stand in front of it now. It's going to eat one of these freaking eggs. I think, obviously, if it was like a Hesperornis egg. Okay, so it ate that egg. Nice. All right, so this is definitely the way to do it. Eventually, it will eat the eggs. But it does lose a buttload of taming efficiency while waiting. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to drop another egg in there. I think there are better eggs than the rock drake eggs. If you go on the wiki, you can see the taming effectiveness for each of the eggs. And um, whoop. let's see here. Let's gamma up a little bit. Gamma four. And I'm pretty sure rock drakes is like way down on the list. So if I was using a different egg... Uh, I just don't have any other fertilized eggs, and you can't spawn in fertilized eggs that actually work on single player. So, it just I already had these from when I went out and got them. But uh, this is working. It's just it's definitely a lot better than kiting the stupid thing around. What's what are you at? You're at eighty five point six, and it's not going down quite yet. We need it to to come over to us. Come here, little snake. All right, maybe we'll just drop the eggs in front of that one since it's there already. But yeah, doing this in a pen, a lot better. Much, 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 much better. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and just drop. Drop them like it's hot. Eat them, baby. Eat them. Daddy Tag needs himself a basilisk. You're a little pain in the ass, aren't you? You think you're cool not eating my eggs. We all know the truth. Oh! Holy crap, we finally did it. Okay, so <laughs> I was literally just about to hit record and say, holy shit, it still hasn't eaten the egg. So it does do this weird screech um, when it's about to eat the egg. So um, this definitely worked a lot better. It just took a little bit of time. So I think there is ba there is obviously a hunger to it. So it just I think it wasn't eating the eggs because it wasn't hungry. And then uh, I was just kind of keeping an eye on its taming efficiency. And it finally ate the egg. So the trap definitely does work. And I can go over exactly how the trap, uh, what the trap is. Is obviously, 
it's just one behemoth gate and then uh well let's, we can actually get off and walk and show the stats of the of the basilisk as well let's equip our gear back on there we go uh so let's see here we're doing one two three four so it's a four by four with ramps gate open the other way thank you good god okay so um yeah it's a four by four square and um you just lead it in there and then you run out the standard gate and it can't get out it's pretty freaking awesome but let's check out the stats real quick we got 3850 health uh, 1365 stamina 264.7 melee damage 120 percent movement speed and that's only at level 98 so that is really really freaking good all right so now that we don't have to worry about that anymore that gate oh man so oh man this thing is so freaking fast holy shit i did not this is actually my first time using one of these so i'm a little surprised at how freaking speedy these things are uh tamed i figured I, maybe i just didn't realize how fast they were or maybe it just seems faster they do a shitload of damage too oh my god getting one of these at max level is just going to be crazy op how's the turning rate oh my god yeah, turning radius eh, you have to slow down you can't sprint um but yeah this thing is pretty darn cool only if it whoa oh that is pretty cool they can't tell if you're um like an enemy one or a person or like you know a wild one or a person like this that is cool do we have like all right so you have to hit space to get out uh so you can't attack from that right away let's try that uh bury is on cooldown okay so we have any other buttons x c what the hell is that okay so it's just like a little roar thing all right do we have the spit attack okay that's the right click which does a decent amount of damage and it just points right where your crosshair goes so that's oh that does a good little burst damage too nice this thing is freaking amazing you don't get poisoned by your own stuff so that is very convenient man i love this thing as far as like damage output this is my favorite uh creature in aberration so far it's gonna take a little you, like getting used to being so far like your character being so far away from the screen when you're moving around but otherwise this thing is freaking awesome i love it i i don't know why it took me so long to tame one i mean i did know why i couldn't figure out how to freaking tame it um because i kept dropping eggs in front of it. i was like this is how you're supposed to do it but it wouldn't freaking tame it just would not do it um so i finally just got pissed off and we ended up making the uh I mean, obviously, we found out that you could do it by running around and just kiting it, but doing it with the pen, hands down, a thousand times easier. Everything is easier to tame with a pen. But anyways, everybody, that is all I've got. I hope you all enjoyed it. These things are amazing. Let me know in the comments below if you want to try and see me get some mutations on these. Now, they're not breedable in the actual vanilla game, but you can use a mod called the uh, uh, Force Fix Dino mod, which allows you to give these dinos a potion and then you can breed anything in the game and you can ride anything in the game too it's pretty crazy but um, if you guys want to see some basilisk mutations using that let me know in the comments below and i do want to mention that our patreon servers are sponsored by g portal actually all of the servers i use in arc are sponsored by g portal and they are freaking amazing if you're looking for a server provider and you're looking for the best definitely check out g portal i've got a five percent discount link in the description and i put it in the comments as well i've used every single server provider for arc and i've ended up having to switch you can ask all of my patrons too they've they've stuck around through all the server switches even my admins were getting pissed off at me because i was changing server providers like every like two weeks and then but not, maybe not like every month i was changing server providers and so far g portal is the only ones that have actually been able to handle the amount of basic like just hell that i put onto a server with my breeding servers but anyways yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed it if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share support and smash that like button. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.